everybody who's put in the time and the effort in raising money for Leila. So thank you very much. Uh, Sarah just wants to say a few words. Hi there, sorry. I've been asked to speak um, from Ian and Lisa, so... A bit of hush, thank you. So Ian's written out a little speech for me to say, so if you can't hear me, apologies, but I'll try my best, so... I would like to begin by apologising on behalf of myself, Lisa and Leila for not being able to make it tonight. When this event was first thought of, it was envisaged that Leila would have been discharged from hospital and back at school. However, during the last couple of weeks of the school summer holidays, Leila's condition deteriorated quite dramatically. This deterioration has led to a protracted period of recovery. As most of you are aware, on the 10th of August, we travelled as a family to London. Leila was due a two-day pre-op assessment. However, Leila's dystonia had reached a point that made it impossible to return home. This resulted in emergency admission to the Evelina Children's Hospital in Westminster. On the 23rd August, Leila received her DBS treatment and the operation went perfectly to plan. The post-op recovery was very difficult, but Leila has now recovered from that with no complications. It has been the deterioration in Leila's dystonia that has led to her extended hospital stay. Leila is showing small but positive signs of improvement, and it is expected that these steps will continue, and hopefully Leila will be back home soon. Leila is in a great hospital and being very well cared for by the nursing staff and receiving great support from the physio and occupational therapists. You can be sure she hates the hospital food Come to think of it, she's only ever tried one meal. All of this has led to an unimaginable level of stress on all of us. But as Leila shows signs of recovery, things are becoming easier. At the moment, Lisa and I are trying to restore some sense of stability by swapping between home and hospital. It is swap over day tomorrow, and Lisa has a 5 a.m. start as she is flying back down to London on the early flight. I would like to express our appreciation and thanks for the support that we have received. The support has come from so many people and places, from Lonehead Primary School, the guides, from the after school club, from our friends, from their parents, from family, from strangers, from friends old and new, and to everyone here tonight. Special thanks to Rhonda for having the idea, motivation, kindness and generosity to start this avalanche of support culminating in tonight's event. The actions of Rhonda, her friends and colleagues also inspired our old friends, Mary and Jim, into action. They dreamed up an event that was spread worldwide through old friends from our previous life in the sun and sea. And their actions have helped Rhonda achieve more than she ever dared imagine. So I'd just like to thank Rhonda. Um, we've got some flowers from Lisa. Um, so Rhonda, if you'd like to come up and get the flowers, thank you. everyone that had a hand in arranging tonight's event, everyone that has contributed to the raffles, to the auction, to providing the venue at short notice, and thanks to Lee for providing the music. Hold that. Never thank the DJ till the end. <laughs> and he does have previous for playing Queen for two days running. So, a special thanks for Amy, to Amy for just being yourself, and to Ryan for helping prevent a major drama with the hair. That help is very difficult to quantify. Thanks, Ryan. Huge thanks to Auntie Liz and her crazy fitness friends, for going through hell to raise money and raise awareness for dystonia. And I expect it best to end this now by saying thanks to all of you. Raise your right hand, bring it down behind your head and give yourselves a pat on the back. Every one of you are helping to make our wee girl very happy and her brother should also confess to being a bit excited myself. Let's all raise a glass for Leila and a wee glass for Finlay. Thank you. Cheers.